very good morning to you. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is OI254 TV, time for politics. We're looking at Kenya's crippling economy and uh, some of the measures that have been reverted to ensure that our economy becomes uh, stable. That is, uh, the VATs and uh, the 1% to some sectors will be looking into that, what the government is proposing come January, even for the tax payment. I'm speaking to Christine Kendi, political analyst, and Lito Cyrus, political analyst as well. My name is Edereva Hilary. Welcome to the broadcast. Send in your comments to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Karibuni sana. You know, uh, it has been, I think, a week where people have been worried. Those who have been being supported by the government, now it's a time they're feeling like, wow, it's going back <laughs> uh, to Mechelewa San and KRA is proposing or through the government the KRA has come up with some measures but even so um, in matters economy so far the market volatility uh, according to some um, research uh, Volatility has sparked fears of COVID-19 induced recession to glean insight into the paths ahead. Business leaders need to take a careful look at, at market signals across asset classes, but also look beyond the markets to recession and recovery patterns. At the same time, cross-section sectors of economy are worried how bad a COVID-19 recession would be, what the scenarios are for growth and recovery, and whether there will be any lasting structural impact from the unfolding crisis. And last week, we saw the president launching the recovery plan. So so the biggest question now is what are, what would the COVID-19 induced recession look like because things have been going down in terms of market. I want to begin with you, Cyrus. Uh, thank you for having me this morning. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, the government uh, actually does not come up with any measures. Mm -hmm. One, the tax uh, rate of VAT 16% was there previously. Just because of uh, the corona thing, mm -hmm. it was... We are given, a, let me say, a break. Mm -hmm. You see, the normal taxation rate is going to come back. Mm -hmm. We were not told that it's going to be permanent. No. Mm -hmm. You see, at the end of the day, the economy of a country needs to grow. Right. And this country depends on that economy for its growth. Mm -hmm. And if we don't remit our revenue, our taxes, then how are we going to grow? Mm -hmm. uh, the only challenge that we have is when there's massive looting and massive corruption mm -hmm. within uh, the care itself. And then uh, when we get uh, tax, there are some fallacious tax exemptions mm -hmm. that are placed on, uh, on people. And you see somebody maybe has a business that gives him almost uh, millions of shillings, mm -hmm. but this person will pay very little mm -hmm. to the government right. through tax evasion methods. Mm -hmm. And now, we need to sit down and ask ourselves, what have we lost through such a tax evasion? Mm -hmm. Through such a fallacious tax e evasion? Mm -hmm. Tax evasions are there, I'm not saying they're not there. Mm -hmm. But uh, underline the word fallacious, whereby, or in other words, we call them tax cheats. Mm -hmm. I cheat, okay, that I didn't do business so that I evade paying taxes. Mm -hmm. I cheat that I didn't do business so that I, I evade paying VAT. So if 10 or 100 people mm -hmm. do that, who have generated an income of, let me say, billions of shillings, then as a country, where are we? Then we have also the tax target that KRA has each and every year. Mm -hmm. Believe me or not, it has never achieved it. So these are some of the things that we need to sit down and strategize on how we are going to achieve our tax target mm -hmm. so that we boost our economy, okay. so that we are able to pay the debts, so that we are there to the clarion call of uh, sending 35% uh, to the counties after BBI has passed. Because <laughs> when we talk of sending 35% uh, to, uh, to, the, to the county governments, mm -hmm. okay? Now the question, when I sit down and I do my arithmetic, Mm -hmm. in one way or the other. If we don't attain our tax target, okay, and we collect 16 billion from, uh, from uh, our revenue collection within the country. Now, 900 billion pays, uh, let me say, uh, the debts. This 
uh, this other one, around 500 billion, uh, pays what? Uh, let me say, uh, the current expenditure. So, from this 16 trillion, okay, mm -hmm. how are we going to, uh, how are we going to ensure that we attain at least a realistic amount mm -hmm. that will be able to improve our economy mm -hmm. at the county level? We have health, we have agriculture, we have infrastructure, mm -hmm. and so many things at the county level. So, when we talk of achieving it. Is it the only thing on paper, or is it going to be realistic? Mm -hmm. And to make it realistic, and I insist, is when we come out and ensure our tax target is achieved. Okay. We cut the things of tax cheats, and then we work on corruption. We cannot fight corruption to the latter, mm -hmm. but we can manage corruption so that at least uh, we get something mm -hmm. that will enable our country to grow. Mm, I appreciate you have mentioned corruption because that is one of the things you will be, yeah. will be looking into uh, at the tail end of this discussion. Let me bring in Christine. We have been on a tax break uh, for the last, say, seven or eight months uh, since COVID-19 came. And here we are. We are reverting to the same trend. What is the likely recovery path? Hmm, Hillary. I would hate to be a leader this time <laughs> because a country like UK uh, projects that it will recover from COVID in around being optimistic that is around 2024. Wow. Kenya depends on these countries. Mm -hmm. For example, when you go to UK, they have mm -hmm. lost 10% of 10% of the population have lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. These are people who come to Kenya. They are the tourists who come to Kenya. Mm -hmm. So when a, such a country suffers, mm -hmm. it is going to when this news you're going to get a terrible cold. Mm -hmm. It is going to be very bad on us. Mm -hmm. Again, in this country, we have a country where the middle class, the people earning between 40,000 to 100,000, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. carry the burden of the country. Right. These are the civil servants mm -hmm. and the employed people. These are the only people. Actually, whenever we have a new tax, mm -hmm. it is introduced to these people. Mm -hmm. Because for a business person, it is, it is easy not to pay tax. Mm -hmm. But once you have a pay slip, anything that is introduced will come to you. Right. So we have a very small uh, uh, any part of our population carrying the entire country. Mm -hmm. If we could move away from taxing these people, the 40 to 100, because, I mean, these are the people who've been sustaining us. They're still the people who are sustaining us, mm -hmm. and they're the people who don't enjoy these tax breaks. The tax breaks go to business people. For mm -hmm. some reason, the government thinks that and then a person who's employed does not need the tax break. Forgetting that mm -hmm. it hits this person. Exactly. So if we could broaden our tax base, like tax these other people outside, mm -hmm. for them to help this middle class carry the burden, mm -hmm. it would be very good. The mm -hmm. problem is catching those people is the easiest person to catch is the one who obviously who has a pay slip mm -hmm. and a KRE number. There are people in Kenya who still do not have a KRE number. But I want to say something on what uh, she's just raised eh? mm -hmm. on taxation. Everyone is being taxed. Mm -hmm. No, that everyone, the, the one that everyone I, I, is being taxed, I, I, I even want, the civil servant I want, I want is to, there. I want to explain. Uh, based on uh, some empirical examples. Mm -hmm. A business person is taxed. This business person does not have only one tax to pay to the government. Mm -hmm. This employed person has only... Can I interject? No, no, no. Let me just, just allow, allow me to interject. Okay. I am telling you. Because what happens is the mm -hmm. business person, be a mafute kipanda, Mm -hmm. They make sure that they mm -hmm. don't carry the the, the burden of bayer mafuta. When you you have to mara mingi, sindio? Bayer mafuta kipanda. Yesterday night when you went home, you paid fifty bob. Mm -hmm. Then the price of fuel goes up at twelve a.m. In mm -hmm. the morning, you're going to pay 100 shillings. Those people do not okay. carry the, the tax burden. But this employed person, they will still when, pay the same tax. When now you same look tax. at that, you look at... Uh, 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 from your angle, you are saying that uh, when taxation is increased, the salary is not increased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From yeah. one angle, mm -hmm. as I understand her. Now, I was saying this uh, before she interjected. When you look at taxation, mm -hmm. an employed person is not highly taxed. And uh, I want you to get me uh, from this angle. Well, you said highly taxed. It's not, hi it's not highly taxed. Mm -hmm. It's just moderately taxed, the normal taxation. Where is payee? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and the annual tax. These are only two kinds of taxation. Mm -hmm. Pays is that person. The, the employer is the one who remits it to okay. the care. Out of your salary. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. out of your salary. Mm -hmm. Those are what we call statutory deductions that I need to be there. That Based on what you earn. A, NHIF, mm -hmm. uh, pay, we have NSSF, and if you have medical cover, that's your own and other things. So these are statutory deductions that are supposed to be deducted mm -hmm. from an, 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 an employee. Right. Okay? From an, 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 an employee an by employee. the employer. Okay. A business person who does business, this person has VAT to pay. Mm -hmm. Is that VAT? When okay. you're paying the, even the, in a hotel, the, 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 the VAT is inclusive. Okay. Wait, it wait, is wait, included. Wait, wait, so wait, they wait don't carry minute. the burden wait, of wait the VAT. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This person has VAT right. to pay. Right. That is sixteen percent paid by the consumer. Wait first. <laughs> <laughs> when when I'm going to do calculations, mm -hmm. Hillary investments. I, I, I think it will, it will be best if you give an example. Yes, that's like say that's what I'm um, that, say Wamuzuru yes, and that's, that's what I want to give. Uh -huh. When I have Hillary investments, okay, mm -hmm. a registered company that has a pin, okay, mm -hmm. this person remits VAT. In but a month? When I'm pricing my commodity, okay, I okay. will include the VAT. Let, let me, let me just so we will not carry the burden of okay, the Okay, let me finish my, 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 <laughs> my, 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 my example, then uh, we, mm -hmm. we, 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 we divide on it. Eh? Uh -huh. Hillary Investments, okay, mm -hmm. an institution or an investment that is established that has employees, mm -hmm. okay, or let me say like 10 to 20 employees. Right. Hillary has a salary, so, and uh, employees have salaries. So mm -hmm. all of them, okay, they are employees of that company. Mm -hmm. including you yourself. As much as you are an investor, you're also an employee of that company. So you pay pay VAT, not, not VAT, you pay pay, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, NHIF and uh, NSSF. These are the statutory deductions that you remit mm -hmm. to the government, mm -hmm. okay? That's the first bit. That's the first bit. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes now to Hillary Investment, the company itself, the business, mm -hmm. this business has VAT to pay. This business has done supplies of one or two things. It has withholding tax to pay. Withholding tax comes in two ways. Mm -hmm. One, in a month or in the end of the year, mm -hmm. okay? Depends with the kind of business that you've transacted. Mm -hmm. We have also uh, other, if uh, you are a, a, a larger consumer, a, a, a larger business investment, then there's what we call LTO, large uh, taxation, okay? Mm -hmm. That it is burdened unto you. So at the end of the day, the, the investor mm -hmm. pays a lot of taxes Actually. than the employed person. Okay, in that institution at the end of the day. So you pay mm -hmm. for the, in, for the, inv the institution pays the taxes and also it pays these other taxes to the, to the, to the government. Oh, and this, to there's, all, there's only one, what we call shared, mm -hmm. shared costs when it comes to employer and employee. The shared cost whereby from my salary, mm -hmm. there's a deduction. Okay, and also from what the, what the, what the, the, the investor pays, mm -hmm. the employee, there's a deduction. Mm -hmm. So there's what you call shared costs at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Now, when you buy, uh, 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 when, when uh, uh, the price of the petroleum increases, it affects each and everyone. It does not affect only one person. It affects the business person. Remember, maybe this person mm -hmm. bought this, the, this petrol at a certain cost. So he, he, he tried to, uh, 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 to calculate, let me say, by the end of this month, I'll ensure I get this. So mm -hmm. this... Profit has been, the profit margin has mm -hmm. been reduced in one way or the other. So it has affected the income of this business mm -hmm. as much as the income of the country. So no. my, my the understanding is the bone of contention here is the VAT. It will be spread across. But it is spread across. VAT is always spread across. Hillary, I want to... Is it a burden to the, to the, to the owner of the business? It is a burden to the owner of the business in one or the other. Business. But it is a benefit to the country because we want that revenue. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm, I'm talking from uh -huh. an angle, okay, uh -huh. where I sit down, do calculations, okay, uh -huh. and remit, uh, remit uh, taxes to the government on behalf of the companies in one or the other. Uh -huh. So when we talk of taxation... We are, at the end of the day, we are supposed to pay our taxes in order to sustain the revenue of our government. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 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 as, as a business person, are you spreading the same VAT that you have paid for to several uh, consumers or to a single yeah, consumer? Yes. It is, it is a consumer yes. who pays the VAT. The business person does not pay the VAT. He pays. No, no, no. The burden, the burden of taxation is carried by the consumer. Because mm -hmm. when I have a business, when I have a business, mm -hmm. I am I have bought milk for one hundred shillings. Mm -hmm. Sixteen percent of that is VAT. Mm -hmm. 
Right. When I am charging on that receipt, on the hotel receipt, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. will see maybe class VAT. I know, I know, I know, yes. So okay. the it consumer will pay for that VAT, yes. not me. Yes. My only, uh, my only work here is to remit the VAT paid by the consumer to KRE. It's okay. Well, uh, and, that's, uh, and that's where you see the business at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it just remits 16%. As much as Because you, the consumer every, has already uh, paid. Everyone, <laughs> everyone contributes. <laughs> that it, it, it has been spread across. Mm -hmm. So everyone contributes to that. Mm -hmm. There are also other mamambogas in, 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 uh, nini, in uh, Mudurwa, in other areas, mm -hmm. where she said that they don't have a pin. Yes, they don't have a pin, but KRA has done the best it can do to ensure mm -hmm. each and everyone has a pin. There's, there's what we call TOT, turnover tax. Right. Turnover tax mm -hmm. is meant for the small businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, where well, after three, after it was previously, before it was suspended, then it was brought back because it was brought it's back. Coming back in January. It, it came back in January. It's coming back in January. It, it came back already. Yes, mm -hmm. TOT is already there. It came back a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was suspended, then it came back in January this year. Okay, it came back. So uh, previously, it was after three months. Okay, mm -hmm. it was quarterly. Mm -hmm. You do your calculations of TOT, then you submit it to, mm -hmm. to KRA. But right now it is monthly, mm -hmm. okay? Because we want to fast track the, the collection of revenue. Mm -hmm. We want to, to hit a target of the revenue collection. Mm -hmm. So each and every individual who has a small business has a, 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 the, 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 the ability to pay taxes. We should not run away from the tax that we need to pay. Because one, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we need development in this country. You know, at, next year at the end of the day, you'll be filing at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, we need we need education. Right. Who who is going to fund that education? Mm -hmm. Why is it? I see there was a there, there's a cry, mm -hmm. there's a cry, and I'm a youth, and I've always said, and I will never shy off from saying the truth. Mm -hmm. There's a there's there's a cry when the the, 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 the they say the university fees every student is going to pay the university fee from, they won't be helped. From this, uh, from the, from from coming uh, next years, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, also help has been reduced. We should ask ourselves this question: When students go on strike and rampage, okay, mm -hmm. crying that they need help, whereby others have defaulted, paying the same same help. It does not say it does it it, it does not uh, it does not. Uh, uh, it does not add up when you tell me I'm not employed by the government to pay the taxes. The government will not never employ all of us. That's one thing we should always keep in mind. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I do one or two things to ensure that I earn a living. When I have a loan, it's my prerogative to pay that loan, to pay back that loan, so that it may benefit the other person. So when we run on the streets saying that we are not given our help, and yet when help is given to us, we don't okay, pay. We don't pay. <laughs> it is not a grant. That's a big it's problem. It's not a grant. Mm -hmm. We need to sit down, and the student, uh, the, 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 the student union bodies should sit down, should mm -hmm. get economic advisors from the same same institutions, and advise them the impact it has on the future generation when they fault or when they default in paying the help loans. Mm -hmm. So because. When we look at it, the money is being remitted mm -hmm. to help, to help certain individuals. This is a taxation money that we are talking about. Because the government does not get grants from donors for help mm. to the, the revenue that is being collected in this country. Mm -hmm. So when we default to pay, we are affecting the future generation. So what do we need to do? Mm -hmm. We need to call upon each and every individual. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you get, you get a 10,000, you get attention, ensure you have a, one shilling that you set aside to pay your help loan so that somebody else will benefit. Right. We need help. C Christine uh, and other has, has raised a, 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 um, a critical issue regarding the help, and we know with the BBI it's proposing some grace period to pay of the same. Mm. Uh, what what do you want? Who do you want to say in regards to uh, the help and uh, the taxation the VAT we were mentioning? Mm -hmm. The help, it's sad, and I, I really hope that the Ministry of Health, of Education mm -hmm. does not raise the school fees. But I, I raised, actually had that argument to a friend, mm -hmm. and he asked me how much, I, how much I paid for my son in baby class, and mm -hmm. it was, I, I mean, people pay 40,000 and above. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, so how do you expect universities 
to run when you're paying around 30, around 17, 18,000. <laughs> very true. <laughs> so, uh, to some extent, it's, I mean, the economy, I mean, it, uh, the universities have bills to pay, electricity, mm -hmm. and the money is little. They are justified to add the school fees. Mm -hmm. But I'm still hoping that the government comes in. We need, I mean, you see, since the Kibaki, since the Kibaki administration, mm -hmm. when he had uh, a free primary education, we now have more people going to the universities. Mm -hmm. We cannot have people who have completed Mpaka Form 4, then these people are qualified to go to the university, mm -hmm. then they fail to go to the university because mm -hmm. they don't have school fees. True. But again, in regard to the BBI, as you were saying, we, mm -hmm. have, we have counties receiving 35% in BBI and what's getting 5% of that 35%. Mm -hmm. So when, if the universities raise, uh, raise their fee and if help is not enough, this is where the CDF, the county bursaries and the ward bursaries come in. Mm -hmm. No one in this country is supposed to not go to school for lack of school fees. We have, I mean, when you're expanding, when you're expanding representation, with representation comes the resources. So why are we giving these representatives more resources if I am going to have my son not go to school because he cannot, I cannot raise the 35,000 mm -hmm. for the university. Exactly. Well, the, the same question comes eh, mm -hmm. from where I sit. Where is the government going to get this money that is going to remit to the counties that will be sustainable mm -hmm. for even that bursaries, mm -hmm. for health, for infrastructure, mm -hmm. for agriculture? But it's and, the same and, money and, that the and, government and, has and, been using. And other things. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not objecting the mm -hmm. same, but I'm looking at it. It's, uh, and I talk of tax cheat. And I raise this concern sometimes back. Mm -hmm. When I look at uh, the BBI, uh, the BBI on, the, on the youth perspective, and I remember I even said I was part of the team that sat down to come up with the, 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 memorandum, or the, the memorandum that we submitted to the BBI okay, mm -hmm. on the taxation. And I raised this question in the same, same boardroom that you are sitting. If we give youths seven year grace period for them to come and pay the taxes, and a youth has made billions of shillings, okay? Does it mean this person is exempted from paying the taxes? How, many, how much has the country lost mm -hmm. from this? Mm -hmm. This is another thing that we should look at. Then remember, our country is full of cartels. We can never run away from that, and we can never shy uh, from speaking th 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 that truth. Mm -hmm. When a person in the ministry, even yesterday I was uh, with one of my uh, uncles who work in the ministry, mm -hmm. who said the, 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 the biggest problem we have in this country, the, 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 the civil servants, they cheat. When, Everyone cheats. <laughs> when, 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 when you come, eh, mm -hmm. you, you, you are a civil servant, you discover uh, there's that, uh, let me say, there's that uh, freedom for the youth. Mm -hmm. or people with disability or other now you go register an institution mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. after using an institution Taking then you take the a proxy <laughs> who is a youth okay mm -hmm. to come just just because of the face of the youth so how many companies are we going to have no there's a limit to the turnover i'm not objecting no 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 the seven the seven year tax break yes there's is actually a limit. for startup businesses i'm not objecting not just every mm -hmm. business so there's, see, a, there's a limit for the turnover. i'm not objecting yeah. but you see what eh? At the end of the day, is if there's that, I'm not objecting the limits, mm -hmm. but you have a thousand people, okay? And each and everyone has a limit of a hundred to be exempted. Right. Okay? Then these a thousand people have made that a hundred. Mm -hmm. How many, how, how much has the country lost no, in taxation? But, but if, if the limit election. was four years and you've been given four years but to pay your loan, you can say comfortably after four years after I will pay. Yes, I so will pay. 10, remember, 10, of you the same, with the same four years. Person, the the same, same person we won't, won't pay that loan. No, 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 no. Citing, citing the reasons mm -hmm. that I'm not employed by the government. But uh, you've never <laughs> been with youth outside here. I'm telling <laughs> the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm a youth. I sit with youth, I discuss youth matters with the youth, and I know how youth speak to some extent. Mm -hmm. No, there but you see, that they, is how the youth enterprise fund died. But, yes. Because but the youth the are taking money, they take be, money, and they how, how many good. people are willing to pay that? She has answered no, the, Hillary, she has Hillary, answered Hillary I had this discussion That's with, why the, 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 with youth, the youth, youth fund has failed. Yeah, let because me just finish. We take loans, we don't pay loans, we default. Mm -hmm. I, had an, uh, I had that discussion with the youth enterprise fund, and with it comes the women enterprise, with the, mm. the women fund. Mm -hmm. And the person was telling me he prefers giving loans to women 
than youths because he will give to women mm -hmm. they will have actually have a, an actual pro mm. project mm -hmm. with profits and everything and every month they make sure that they pay mm. for the youth on the other hand to tender to chukwe our 20000 left to ambiani when ipatia yangu tano mimi nitajipanga which is oh, because that, when they merge they had their own yes motives. because when they, and, and again the the they loan is conditional. The, ideas. the loan is conditional. You cannot mm. be given as an individual. You mm. have to come so together as a group. So mm. we come together as a group. You're given the fifty thousand. Everyone says ni pati yangu ni atano ni atano. Elfi yangu tano ni ende ni taji sort na yo. When I go without five thousand shillings, you know. There's nothing I'm going to do. There's nothing I'm going to do. Then we, when it comes to paying, we mm -hmm. shall not pay that loan. Mm -hmm. And then we shall come back to say the youth are unemployed. Mm. The, the government needs to create jobs for the youth. The mm -hmm. government does not create jobs for the youth. Mm -hmm. The government does not create jobs for anybody. Mm. The government just creates opportunities for you to create jobs for yourself. Yeah, exactly. So when they have given you the youth enterprise fund, they do not owe you a job. Mm. That is where the jobs are supposed to come from. Mm -hmm. But we have collapsed it. We are, we are about to collapse help mm -hmm. and may anything else that involves the youth. All right. I want us to analyze uh, the the road to recovery by KRA, uh, the thing, the enhancing domestic revenue mobilization and what COVID-19 has done to this. Uh, you just mentioned of how much was lost uh, when we were on a tax break. And uh, according to KRA, they had, uh, what is this? It has been it has been able to mobilize 1.1 billion shillings against a target of 1.3 yes. billion shillings, uh, reflecting a revenue shortfall of 186.3 billion shillings. So, makes sense if we go back. And uh, okay, this is what the government has been able to do. Uh, we can see the PPEs. We can see uh, the humanitarian re relief assistance to support vulnerable families. But we have to go back here. Seeing the difference of uh, between these few months and over the years, as a country, economically speaking, have we been okay, Christian? No country is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you, hotels are still on their knees. They haven't recovered. Mm -hmm. Tourism is our main source of income. Mm -hmm. remove, even the, remove even the the taxations. Mm -hmm. But as long as the hotels are not operating, mm -hmm. we are not about even to move. But what the, what the government is trying to do is actually because when you don't when you don't spend money mm -hmm. money will not circulate so what the government is trying to do right now is spend money so that money circulates and then ensure encourage people to spend money mm -hmm. like i will encourage you to open a business whichever kind of business it is so that money starts now flowing so that and encourage other people i mean makes make, make uh, and the environment friendly for people to spend money. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be in the millions. Mm -hmm. Those people were not, maybe they were not earning a lot, but it made a whole difference to the economy. Mm -hmm. Ask the small, small businesses. That 450 used to go to Mama Mboga, used to go to the butchery person, used mm -hmm. to go to Mama Fua, mm -hmm. used to used to go and, and then there's another woman who has taken a babysitter so it used to support a whole economy on itself mm -hmm. the, the 450 was not supposed to make us billionaires huh? mm -hmm. it was supposed to make sure that money circulates that mama mboga does not come out with hamburger mm -hmm. and that doesn't get people to buy the mboga mm -hmm. the kamawa butchery does not uh, does not slaughter a goat and then the goat rots mm -hmm. there will be someone who will go and buy Kanyama ka 50 bob and then Mboga 20 bob, you see? Mm -hmm. That's a whole economy that has been revived right now. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with the difference, uh, Cyrus, um, and we can see most of the money went to the Ministry of Health. We are reverting back to the uh, system. What would we have missed other than the Ministry of Health, other sectors that have been left out here? You see, uh, when I look at these... Uh, 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 effects of uh, tax measures. Eh? Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at them at the previous one. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at them as the future effects of tax measures. COVID is here to stay with us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We need to ensure we protect our doctors mm -hmm. by getting the PPEs for them. Mm -hmm. Rather, you have that doctor there with that PPE. We need to ensure this uh, circulation of money as she has demonstrated and she has explained mm -hmm. in our economy. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. by coming up with those small, small uh, enterprises or small, small opportunities for our people, mm -hmm. the government will always create opportunity for us. It came with the youth fund, Uezo, women mm -hmm. fund. Mm -hmm. Now, 
uh, the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. has come up with the other one with the, together with MasterCard. Uh, ensuring they support also the Mambogas, they give them a loan of 30,000, uh, 10,000, depending on your ability to pay. Mm -hmm. The loans have been given to the people, three months, four months loan mm -hmm. to sustain their business. The question is, with the people who are being given the loans able mm -hmm. to repay back the money, mm -hmm. okay, so that we can able to, to recover ourselves, also to boost our economy. Mm -hmm. The government has a, a a, a great plan for the nation. But the problem is the people within the country have no good heart for the government. Because if I'm given that 30,000, okay, mm -hmm. why can't I do multiplication, okay, in that business so that I pay much taxes and I get good services mm -hmm. from the government? Uh, okay. To be fair, it's because obviously the trust between the citizens and the government also has to do something about corruption. I'm not objecting, because which is true. But it, all it of makes us, people not want to pay taxes. All of us. Okay. <laughs> Why is it that uh, we see when you talk of the government, we we forget we are the government. Yes. The government is not the leader. Mm -hmm. The government is not Uhuru. The government is I and you. And what, at what rate or at what percentage do I contribute to corruption? A higher, a very high when percentage. that member of parliament, when that MCA comes to me asking for votes, I don't vote for integrity, but I vote f because he has given me 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. This person has bribed me. Ask yourself, Which is a one -time where, need. where did this person get this The 500 money? doesn't last. No, and that is why yes. when he where gets into power... And when he gets into, in, into power, this mm -hmm. person has to embezzle money. Mm -hmm. Because he needs to because fund he the next you. campaign. No, he also needs to fund Fine, the next but campaign he bought you. so that he, he can he... buy you again. Yes. <laughs> so this is another culture that we need to run away from. Exactly. We need to sit down and look at the ideology of an individual. Okay? To fight corruption is not the effort of the government alone. The government might fight it even to 0.01% magnitude. Mm -hmm. But the entire effort lies with me and you. Let's Hillary, not forget that. Just, uh, just a minute. You mm -hmm. know, the most interesting thing after he has said that is mm -hmm. that um, around seven months, nine months before election, ESCC releases, after the IBC has received the list of candidates so far, ESCC releases the uh, people who have integrity issues, mm -hmm. a list of people who have integrity issues. It is published in the newspapers. Mm -hmm. But can you still go look? No, no, I will bad you don't have vote here MP. Mtuwangu bad you don't have vote MP. So we cannot actually blame the government for not for fighting corruption. When, mm -hmm. I mean, look at Nairobi, mm -hmm. where we are right now. To okay. add on that, to <laughs> add on that, to add on that before we go to that post-COVID-19 post recovery measures, which we are going to discuss intensively. <laughs> when you talk of uh, accountability, which she has just brought in, Okay, mm -hmm. it's because we have discussed it. Eh? Mm -hmm. When you talk of accountability, there are institutions in this country mm -hmm. that are sleeping. Okay, the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission. Mm -hmm. she, ra she raised a very a good concern. When IBC f uh, finishes uh, doing whatever, then I uh, EACC says this and, and this person is tainted, this and this, but you end up voting the same, same person. Mm -hmm. IBC also, is also taxed with ensuring election campaigns are well managed. There's what we call election funding. Mm -hmm. Each and every candidate who goes to an election, whether you won or whether you lost, starting from nomination, mm -hmm. you need to submit your audited accounts how you have spent on how you how spent much? your money. Mm -hmm. Because there is people, a limit. But you will be surprised. People sir. You, people submit to those audited uh, yes, reports, and the, people even have the, there's a uh, Harambe's in quotes uh, there's for a funding their campaign. There's a limit. Just kutufunga macho yes, to show us that there's a limit. Moja kwa hii. But I can say, ma very few mm -hmm. submit. Majority mm -hmm. don't submit. No, they submit. They it's, a it's, a it's a requirement. They submit. <laughs> it's a requirement. They submit. <laughs> just that it's, it's easy to get the documents. Uh, for me, eh, uki, nikiambia hila risaizi, mm -hmm. utakuwa governor. Wetu lete, tu audited. Uta leta audited. Wachana na iyo, there is what, call, there is what you call posts. Mm -hmm. Okay? Post. Whereby after campaigning, there's that evaluation. Right. You need to sit down and submit it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have that in my, in my, in my, in my, in my library. Mm -hmm. Okay? I always go through it. I have it. Mm -hmm. But none of us has always submitted it. 
I myself included because I contested, but I never submitted it. But you see, okay, mm -hmm. so there's no accountability to some extent, and I'm not ashamed to say that. That is now from okay? the agency. From the IBC. agency itself, it has to put measures in place to ensure that each and every person who runs for that seat, mm -hmm. whether you won, whether you lost, All you need right. to submit that audited report. Let's look IBC. at this now. Uh, Post-COVID recovery measures. We have a statement of a residence corporate tax rate to 30% from 25%. I want us to look at the impact of this, especially now to the young people you mentioned of the Kazi Mtahani. They were getting the 40, uh, 450 shillings. Mm -hmm. They could buy some amount of uh, or some items. But now with the uh, revision of 16% from 14%, Bay Mepanda, what else can they get with the 450? The impact to the young people, we have 30% or pay as you earn, you've been mentioning that, then we have the 1%, but we have uh, some people who still remain under 24,000, 000, they will not be taxed. Cyrus, 16%. The number what can you buy with 400? And I said it. It's something, this is what you used to have. But this is what we've been paying. Yes. It was 14, for the seven, no, 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 that's, no, 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 that's no, what no, no. we've been paying. For the seven, ma for the seven months, months mm -hmm. for the seven months, it was a tax break. Hillary, mm -hmm. underline the word break. Mm -hmm. Tax break. Mm -hmm. Okay? We used to pay 30%. We used to pay 16%. We used to pay those things. Okay? Blindly? No. no. Mm -hmm. It was there. Those are the tax re regulations. The, only, the, the reason they put them there, yeah. remember uh, between March and now, guys were working from home. Mm -hmm. uh, people lost jobs. Mm -hmm. People were working on half pay. Yes. Mm -hmm. People were working half day. Mm -hmm. But now we have, we can say we have gone back the, to normal. The, the, we have gone back but to normal. But now we cannot, we cannot say we are going back to normal, to the eight hours normalcy. Mm -hmm. We were working for the eight hours. Now we've gone back to the eight hours, mm -hmm. but still won't. The, the, the tax breaks that have been put when, there when we were working for four hours. When mm -hmm. the president mm -hmm. announced uh, about the tax break, mm -hmm. I was so saddened. Mm -hmm. Because I was looking at how we're going to build our economy mm -hmm. by the reduction of taxes and it from 30% to 25%. Mm -hmm. But then I was really saddened and I complained mm -hmm. about it. Because this is where we get our revenue. From the taxes, reducing exactly. reducing something from even zero point one percent is a bigger margin. Mm -hmm. Okay, now from thirty percent to twenty five percent. Okay, mm -hmm. how much are we going to lose in this period? And mm -hmm. people are going to do businesses. That's why we had COVID millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> people are going to so transact. Money mm -hmm. is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to lose a lot. And in fact, when you sit down and do analysis. Mm -hmm. We've lost a lot of money during this seven-month seven period mm -hmm. by the reduction of taxes, okay? Now, the only thing that we need to recover, okay, mm -hmm. is by ensuring the target, as I said earlier, the target that KRA has each and every year is achieved, okay? And how are we going to do that, okay? It's by ensuring each mm -hmm. and every person mm -hmm. pays these taxes. Yeah. That's why even, even KRA has introduced what we call digital taxation. Okay, digital taxation. So want to pay. <laughs> it is going for mm -hmm. these people who do online businesses, exactly like Jumia and other people. Okay, mm -hmm. they have their even own for way the forex. Of, yes, they have their own way. They have the KRA has come up with a, a methodology on how these taxes are going to be to be paid mm -hmm. because they have been evading taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so government is trying to do each and every thing possible to ensure that it collects taxes they were supposed to collect. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the Monainchi is also very clever mm -hmm. with the accountants we have right now, okay, trying to help the business person, okay, mm -hmm. evade paying taxes. And that's the biggest problem Hillary, that we have. Yeah, you know, in as much as a, a country a, a country's economy cannot overgrow cannot grow by, by overtaxing its citizens, I don't think I don't think this is an overtax. But in the same way, the citizens are as rich as the government. When the government is broke, you as an individual yeah, will feel it. Mm -hmm. You will be broke. Yep. So the more, the more we work hard towards making our economy grow, I mean, mm -hmm. the same demands we make to the government, mm -hmm. the same demands we make to individual citizens. Yes. Let us build this country. Mm. It's not Uhuru's responsibility to boost the economy. His, it's not his responsibility alone. I said alone because he also has a responsibility in cu in curbing corruption. Mm -hmm. In as much as you know, uh, the situation we are in right now is that we lose more money than we make. We make eleven shillings, we lose twelve mm -hmm. through corruption. Mm -hmm. Then now we go back to borrowing thirteen shillings. 
Actually, Hillary, our, our, our we, debt we, is bigger, and we've see, we, we're having reactions from our viewers out there. Uh, we asked them how do they feel about uh, this 7.1 bill billion shillings the recovery uh, debt, and one of them is saying, Shauriake, these are... You, you see, may give up. And, uh, and you see, these, these are... But you see, it's not even are, in, the, in this country alone. Like mm -hmm. I was saying, UK is 10% job losses. 10% out of their population is really big. Their GDP has dropped by 20%. Mm -hmm. You see, Larry. You see, it's mm -hmm. not in Kenya only. USA, same thing. I mean, it, it, it's, we need to understand that this is an international yes, crisis. If this youth, and when big economies suffer, mm -hmm. our economy will definitely Very true. suffer. Mm -hmm. And when this youth shouts that way, I think... It's a risk for this country mm -hmm. because when you say Shauriako, this is your country at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You have to participate in ensuring that we have good governance, mm -hmm. we have good economy, we have good uh, things in place. So when you talk of Shauriako, then you are, you are talking to yourself. You are saying it to yourself mm -hmm. in one way or the other. Okay? Because at the end of the day, the, you are the government. The government is not who the government is not the person in the, in, the, in charge. You are MP. Another thing that I want also to raise is that we look at the, the, the corruption thing in a very different perspective. But I look at it at a very different different angle. Mm -hmm. Whereby we look at the person who has stolen billions of money, one person. But we forget uh, ten thousand people who have stolen uh, mm -hmm. billions of money through getting small, 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 small corruption things mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you look at one person who has run away f with the, uh, 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 maybe one billion, mm -hmm. now what about the 100,000 people down here mm -hmm. who have walked away, okay, and taxed money, okay, mm -hmm. that is even totaling to even five billion. All then right. we, we throw stones at one person who mm -hmm. has run away with one billion. So accountability on Matters. corruption starts with me and you. Uh, allow me to, to read some comments from our viewers. We have uh, say Bet says uh, tuned in from Kakamega. I think we better start trading off criminals to go and work there as a, as a repay to the debt. Anyway, good day family. <laughs> uh, we have Kahush Rapa says good morning. Wase. I'm a James. Good morning guys. Uh, says Amo says good morning. Kenya will never be able to recover from its debt simply because Every single day the government is thinking on how to borrow other money without the strategies on how to pay the loans. The common 190 will, will live as a prisoner to all. Uh, Emma James says, getting your life from Bungoma. Thank you for watching. Julian K.E. Tuned from Kilifi says, Hakuna njia wala namna na jinsi ambavyo Kenya kwa ujumla itaju. Itajikomo kutokana na madini haya pesa kibao kama kila siku sirikali kui naendelea kuchukua mikopo kila kona. Uh -huh, that is his feel. BD Ashley says, Macha tuned in. Thank you for watching. We have Habib, the Bantu, says, This is not Kenya's debt. It's the current government that has put us in that situation by mass corruption and looting and misplaced priorities. We've mentioned about corruption. Nabadwa na push BBI nonsense on us. Okay. That's your take. We have Bramwell Boke says, I'm following from. Kawangware, I think government should ensure stolen money meant for development should be recovered and reduce borrowing. Uh, so much of borrowing here, and of course, even the spending. Uh -huh. So that's, those are some of the uh, comments Hillary, from uh, Let me say something about the borrowing. Mm -hmm. I have nothing against the government borrowing. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, with such huge infrastructural developments, mm -hmm. the government needs to borrow. And the government does not operate, uh, the government operates just like a, like a normal citizen. Mm -hmm. You see the same way you, you run your household, mm -hmm. that's the same way the government runs the country. Mm -hmm. That, right now you want to buy a car, you want to build a house, and you want to start a business. Mm -hmm. Is your salary enough for all that? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that the, the country wants to build roads? How many new roads do we have right now? Don't even talk about corruption. Mm -hmm. But do we, everywhere you go, you find a road under construction. Mm -hmm. We want, we want to, be, to be the, domin, the dominating economy in East Africa. How are we going to achieve all that? We cannot, we cannot have this infrastructural develop, development without borrowing the money. There is nothing wrong with borrowing the money. Mm -hmm. And there's no time that ten it akuji kwambia hila rile denietu, ni metumwa na uhuru ni mbo ni patia ten bob. The government will pay and it will still borrow more. All right. The borrowing uh, is not good. I, I, I want us to end. Uh, oh, as oh, you, res as you yeah. respond to that, please tell us oh, uh, where, uh, where, they, where will be the lasting economy consequences of COVID-19. And lastly, what should leaders do in relation to economic risks? 
Now, I want to say this. I don't have a problem with borrowing. Mm -hmm. as long as but I have a problem with too much borrowing mm -hmm. that we cannot sustain. At the time we raised concern on the Mombasa support, and they, some, the, government, the, the leaders on the government said it is fallacious. Okay? Mm. But I read a report mm -hmm. recently mm -hmm. which states too much borrowing will make us lose our port, mm -hmm. lose the Kenya Railway, mm -hmm. lose our airport, mm -hmm. Kenya Power, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. that has also been used, and then also Kenjin. There are f a number of prastatos, mm -hmm. big prastatos, okay, mm. that have been used as collaterals, mm -hmm. okay, to borrowing. And too much borrowing has an impact. Zambia has, lo has lost its air is this airport, yes. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. To Adona. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, there's a country in uh, Middle East, okay? Mm. When the citizens work, okay, all the taxes are paid to China. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Tanzania that has done its development, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. on the monies that the, it has collected from the, its own revenue, not much borrowed. We have the administration of Kibaki mm -hmm. that had less borrowing, but it did a lot, okay? So when mechanisms are put in place, well-managed mechanisms, okay, mm -hmm. then we won't have much borrowing. Our country mm -hmm. has a, 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 a huge appetite of borrowing. Okay, <laughs> but mismanagement of funds mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. The euro bond that was borrowed and mismanaged, mm -hmm. we are supposed to pay. We went to France the other day, we signed for another money mm -hmm. that has already come. Here, the doctors are on strike. I was talking to a medical officer, mm -hmm. okay, from one of the counties, and I was telling him now the government has release the money. Do you know this person, what did, 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 did he tell me? Mm -hmm. I'm telling the truth before God, before we are just running, just to run, but there is no penny the government mm -hmm. has released to the counties, which is very true. When I asked the, the person, because this person is also very political, when I asked this person, mm -hmm. then why are, you, why are the governors supporting BBI and funds are going to be released for referendum? Mm -hmm. And yet, we have me me medical, me me medical activities in the hospital are, are, are at, at stake. Mm -hmm. He said, we've been gagged. Okay? So it is, we are at risk in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. When we go down into getting the facts, I'm telling you the truth, you'll be shocked. I saw the president uh, releasing the money, but uh, in the real sense, there's no money in the counties. And I can tell you the truth, there are no monies in the counties. All right. Finally, uh, with the 132 billion shillings recovery, which is said to go to the water sanitization, agriculture, housing, transport, tourism, health education, this was launched by the president on Friday last week. Mm. Is it going anywhere? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let me first correct him on one thing that he has said. The government does not release doctor salaries mm -hmm. together with the, the development infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, development money. That is why the doctors have called off the strike. It's not all because about the, 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 no, 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 the, the, the salary. The, there's no... Let There's me, nothing in the counties let that me is running. Let me, let me, okay. let me finish. Hospitals. Nothing in the counties that is running. I'm let me the finish. Truth. That is why the doctors have called off the strike and postponed it to two weeks. Because what the governors do, the governors are not foolish. What they do is we talk. I mean, they, they're only 47 of them. They all know each other. You see what that does? Hell mm -hmm. is devolved. The worst mistake that we ever did. It disunites the doctors. Mm -hmm. Because why will your doctors strike? They have PPEs, they have everything. His doctors, on the other hand, have nothing. Mm -hmm. are, are you seeing where the disparity comes in? Mm -hmm. So his will be like to strike. Then these ones will be, I cannot strike because I already have everything that I needed. Mm -hmm. So that disunity where the county governors give doctors that disunity, that is what works for them. But the money is not, is not mm 
mm. release together with development. Governors were very clear, by the way, what they did when they were given the, the it was a conditional grant. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even, it wasn't funding from the, from the Russian government. When they were given that money, it was at a time when COVID numbers were going down. So they looked, wakangalia, tuvepatiwa nikona, nikona two million, two billion sapato kucheza nato. Mm -hmm. And this COVID like, looks like it has gone away. So what they, did they do? Instead of building capacities in the hospitals, they paid for the tenders. Mm. And for them, it makes more sense for the governors to pay for the tenders because there is kickback there. There is no kickback in buying hospital equipment. So right now, we are all. Corrupt. If governors Same had corruption. not been given that money, we would know about it. All of them will be talking and calling press conferences, saying they had not been given the money. Yeah. They were given the money, but the money was spent on other. <coughs> Oparanya said that himself. Now you see, the, 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 when uh, when uh, Wetangula was asking. Uh, Wangamati about the 260 billion uh, million he was given for to manage COVID mm -hmm. things, okay? And uh, we said it is all political, this and this and this and this. You see, there, there was a difference between COVID money because we were given we were given grants by the donor can, can countries mm -hmm. to manage COVID. Yes. So the COVID money is was different dispar from it was mm -hmm. it was dispersed to each and every country. Yeah, so the COVID money mm -hmm. is different from the normal monies the government gives to the county. The that is okay, that is okay, that is okay. The, 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 the Until the, there the we are okay. Re, 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 receive the, but the COVID monies, mm -hmm. each and every county received COVID monies. Yeah, so that why are doctors dispute. right now but crying I'm, about PPEs uh, uh, and everything else see, when that COVID money was supposed to take care of all when, that? When, when we talk of the doctors, and, and I remember we, we, we had the same discussion here, mm -hmm. the last time I was here. When you talk about doctors, I've always said this, if doctors were like teachers, yes, uh, when they, they come agree. to strike, mm -hmm. they have very clear reasons why they strike and how they want them met. But the okay? county, county the government has doctors, them doctors with that because they don't, don't come. Have. They, they, they come. Mm -hmm. We say we want uh, salaries, we want uh, PPEs. We mm -hmm. want, then you don't. There's no uh, clear communication. It's like you are confused. Mm -hmm. They go to strike. Uh, no, 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 no. They're not confused. They're not we, confused. We, we, have, we have doctors, doctors from different counties having their own issues. Yes. yes. So For that is how they have been disarmed. The, the so they cannot is. come and to that's why I say, That's why I say they mm -hmm. are like confused. And because this, this they're are not the, confused. Wait first. They just where, have where, different okay, messages. We, so we have, have to end. Why am I saying so? And I remember I said this. And I remember I said this. Why do we need a health commission? You remember? Mm -hmm. Why yeah. do you need a health commission? To put so them where the teachers are. Very true. At, and that's why I'm saying, like and I'm not wrong, and I'm defending my statement. Mm -hmm. They come on a confused strike. All right. Thank <laughs> you so much for, 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 for that heated conversation here. I'm, I'm trusting the young people have also learned something at Akamani Watuanini with the tax reversion, saying that we have been there. Uh, and the economy has to move on. Things have to move on. They have been my guest, Christine Kendi and Cyrus, a little political analyst. Thank you so much for staying with us. My name is Dereva Hillary. See you after this break on Matters Career. Stay with us. Big rich town. I just come from the poor.